Hi everybody, welcome back to Wild Care. We have a really cool live stream for you today. We have a patient in the Wildlife Hospital who is a Northern Spotted Owl. Here he is. Isn't that a beautiful bird? So he came in, we're, we're guessing male. You're actually able to tell the sex of a Northern Spotted Owl based on the animal's weight. But because this bird is very emaciated, this is to keep him calm while we check his weight. 454. 454 grams, yes. Correct. So the bird is very emaciated, so we are not able to tell if the weight would put this bird in the realm of a female, who is a larger bird, or a male northern spotted owl, which is the smaller of the two sexes. So we're not sure yet. We're just going with the male gender, just for the sake of the live stream here. So. He came in yesterday after having been attacked by crows. That's kind of all we know, right, Brittany? Correct. Um, and he's in bad shape, so something was kind of something was definitely happening before then. Um, and so he had some fly eggs on his head. Um, was very very dehydrated, and his blood work was not horrible, but not great. Right. And this is taking the x-ray here. You notice our technicians both have their lead-lined aprons and guards on. And it's a quick movement with the foot to press the x-ray machine and allow that picture to be taken. And the very exciting news is we're also going to be able to look at the x-ray on our live stream here. So that was the on his back. What is that? Dorsal? And then this is lateral? That was a ventral dorsal. Ventral dorsal, okay. Uh, meaning the x-ray goes through the ventral surface first. Right. And this is lateral, so it gives us two views so we can triangulate where injuries are. Yep. And I know it looks uncomfortable, but we do it very quickly, and it gives us a lot of great information. Yep, absolutely. So the next thing we are going to do is give him fluids. I'm going to put the first x-ray in while she gets him into position. Perfect. So that we have one to look at here. That's great. Our new digital x-ray machine is just amazing and it works very, very quickly. So by the time they are finished giving fluids to this very, very beautiful and threatened species bird, the northern spotted owl, then we should have that x-ray available, a radiograph as we term it here in the wildlife hospital, have that x-ray available for, go ahead Brittany, wherever you need to be. Excellent. Uh, we'll have to, for us all to view. So the next thing they're going to do here is they're going to give the bird fluids. Uh, can you talk while you do it or you want yeah, me to? Yeah, cool. of course. So there are many places we can give fluids to a bird. Um, the big thing is that they have air sacs, so we need to avoid their air sacs. So I'm finding a spot along either side of the spine on his back, and this is going to allow me to um, go ahead and provide him with fluids and I'm going to be very careful to draw back before I administer these fluids to make sure I am away from air sacs and if I get air that means I could be in one and I should find a new spot. Yeah. So giving fluids is a really common thing. It looks like might have been an air sac there, yeah? Yeah, I'm going to go a little bit lower here. Yeah. Make sure we're in a safe spot, get the rest of out. That looks like a lot of fluids. How much is he getting? He, yeah, he's only getting about 20, so now I have no air coming back, just oh, negative great. pressure. So that lets me know I'm in a safe spot. And we're going to give what's called a bolus of sub -Q fluids. So it's going to take him a little while to absorb this, but it's going to help replace um, fluid lost by his current nutritional state, which is not a great state. He is very, very thin and needs a little extra support from us. Uh, the good news is he did start eating on his own overnight. That is good news. He looked really down yesterday when he came he in. And then we are going to um, do an exam and check again for fly eggs, which he came in with yesterday. And that would just be an indication that he'd been injured or, or down, down for, a, for while, a while, right? Yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and I do see some feces around his toes and the color looks slightly abnormal so that's a good indicator that we should um, do a fecal sample here. And Checking for parasites. Yep, see if he has any parasites that we need to be worried about and that's all dry so I'm going to leave that there so I don't take his feathers. I'm going to go ahead and palpate both of his wings. So this is great for us because it means we actually get to see 
those wings. And you can put that over his face if you need to. Let's see here. Yeah, so we're gonna put that over his head to reduce his stress, the, the visible stressor of having us handling him, of course, necessary to make sure that he is uh, uninjured. That wing looks good. I don't feel any fractures or any looseness in any of the joints. So now we're gonna right. go ahead and check the other wing. What would looseness in the joint indicate? Um, it would indicate um, a dislocation. Oh, okay, sure. Um, Sorry, trying to get a decent angle here. There we go. Of um, one of the bones in his wings, but I'm not feeling anything like that. That's great. So, so far, so good. It's interesting, though, because that, that kind of means we don't have any idea why he would have been on the ground being attracted by crows, right? Correct. And so part of what we're doing the x-rays is to see if we can figure out what was going on. So right now I'm just feeling both of his legs to make sure that the femur is sitting in the socket normally. And see then I his don't talons down here. Yeah. feel any fractures. Thank you, Garen. Garen just donated. Thank you so much. That makes such a huge Wonderful. difference to us okay, to allow so us to continue this work. Oh, behind me. Let me yeah. get out of the way so here. Sorry, everyone, for the jiggling. Exam of this guy. So he's going to go back in his box while we go check out the x-ray. Let's do that. Very See exciting. If we have any information on why this owl came into us. Perfect. All right, so he's going to go back into his incubator, correct? He's going to go back in his incubator. Excellent. And we are going to take a little quick walk over. Try not to joggle everyone too much. I'm wearing an x-ray uh, gown as well, so I'm a little more jostly than usual. Look at this thing. Look how cool this is. So this is a digital x-ray machine that we got earlier this year through an incredibly generous grant by an anonymous donor, and we're so incredibly grateful. It is amazing. It allows us to do so much more. We can actually alter the contrast. Ooh, as you can see here. let's so, zoom in here. So if we don't take the best settings, we can adjust it on oh, our own. Oh, that's amazing. So it makes a huge difference for us and we can get really, really close and see all of the bone structures, get a really good idea if there's any fractures Thank or you, other Suzanne. issues. Um, and what's and you can actually see here that this bird has no muscle. He is just so skinny. Oh, there's is. nothing Look at that. on him. He looks like a big fluffy bird, but he's just so tiny. Um, and the good news is if we follow all of the long bones, we don't see any fractures. Everything appears to be in the joints properly. Mm -hmm. um, so this is great news for the owl that maybe this is just a first year who wasn't doing super well on his own, needs some extra support from us. Um, so we are going to continue to care for him provide him with supportive care, get him fed up, and then make sure that he can thrive in the wild before sending him back out. Uh, so we usually will work with um, some other organizations to get him um, huge flight spaces, um, get really, really fit, and make sure he can properly hunt. That way, the next time we release him into the wild, he is able to do what he needs to do to be a successful spotted owl, and since they are um, are they in danger? Threatened. Threatened. So yes. So we are a threatened species in California, so we want to be really certain that every spotted owl we send back out is going to be successful yep. and help increase the population. Yep, absolutely. Brittany, so interesting. Thank you so much. Everyone You're will welcome. keep you updated on this patient's progress. Uh, such an amazing thing that you guys do. Thank you, everyone, for donating. Thank you. Oh, Caroline, Carolyn, thank you so much. Uh, Thank you for joining us today. We'll be back tomorrow. I think we're doing baby crows tomorrow. Not sure what exactly we're doing. Something cool. And uh, visit us online at discoverwildcare.org. Everybody stay healthy. Thanks for joining us today, and we'll see you tomorrow.